What's up, tech enthusiasts? Ever feel like your LinkedIn feed is drowning in a sea of bland, AI-generated posts? Yeah, me too. That's why today, we're diving into something super cool. Automated LinkedIn posting, the DIY way. I've been scrolling through LinkedIn lately, and honestly, it feels like everyone's either copy-pasting or letting robots do all the talking. Don't get me wrong, AI is amazing, but where's the human touch? Where's the you in your profile? Now, why automate LinkedIn? Let's be real, attention is the currency of the internet, and a consistent, engaging LinkedIn presence can seriously boost your visibility. Sure, there are websites that offer this service, but come on, we're programmers. Paying for something we can build ourselves? Nah, that's not how we roll. It's like paying someone to tie your shoelaces when you know how to do it yourself. So naturally, I went down the rabbit hole and stumbled upon this awesome GitHub repository. It's called Cracksizor LinkedIn Post Automator. Shout out to the creator. It's designed to post on LinkedIn using the OpenAI API. Perfect starting point. Now here's the thing. OpenAI API isn't exactly free, and I'm rocking the Google Gemini API. So, challenge accepted. I tweaked the code to work with Gemini. Why pay for one API when you can leverage another? Right? This also shows you how adaptable this project is. All right, enough talk. Let's get our hands dirty and dive into the code. I'm going to walk you through the key parts and explain how it all works. First up, we have the main code. This is where the magic starts. Notice the scheduling part. It's all about timing your posts for maximum impact. But here's the beauty. Everything is configurable. Check out the config file. This is your control panel. We've got the bio, your personal touch, and the GPT preamble. Think of the preamble as giving your AI agent instructions. I've told it to create engaging posts with emojis, because who doesn't love emojis? Gemini, in its generous way, likes to give you options, sometimes three different post variations. A bit much for automation, right? So I made sure to tell it, just give me one awesome post, please. Also, to avoid reposting, I've implemented a system to remove already posted content. I'll show you how that works. I wanted the posts to sound more human-like, so I told it to ditch the HTML bracketed hyperlinks and just give me clean links. No RSS URLs either, keep it classy. We also set token limits to manage API usage and scraping limits for website content. Now, about these cookies and member ID, these are your LinkedIn keys to the kingdom. The member ID is actually for reading your past posts. I haven't fully implemented that yet, but I've got a clever workaround using recent posts. Always finding solutions, right? And these hours and minutes settings? That's how often the bot will try to post content. Let's peek into the utility file. This is where we keep the supporting code bits and pieces. And now for the brains of the operation. The GPT code. This is where we connect to the Gemini API. We create a Gemini client, set up the user and assistant roles, and get the response. We're using the Gemini Pro model, but you can swap that out if you want to experiment. Next up, the content underscore manager. This is the conductor of our automation orchestra. It loads the config, reads all those settings we talked about, and then fetches website content. It grabs content from websites using the fetch underscore website underscore content function. And the scraper function in the scraper file is what does the actual web scraping magic pulling content from RSS feeds or HTML. The default scraping limit is set to 2000 characters. Back in the content underscore manager, we have the get underscore response code. This is where the magic happens. We feed Gemini the preamble, our bios, and recent posts to avoid repetition. Gemini works its AI wonders and gives us a post. Then we have post underscore content. This part reads past posts from a text file, fetches fresh content from websites or RSS feeds, gets the GPT response, and prints the post to the terminal first, just so we can preview it and make sure it looks good before it goes live. Finally, we instantiate the LinkedIn module and post the GPT response. And to keep track of what's been posted, we append the current post to that text file, ready for the next run. Let's quickly look at the LinkedIn code. You can see the LinkedIn API endpoints we're using. We're using the requests library to send HTML content to LinkedIn. This get underscore recent underscore post code is there, but I'm not using it right now. Now here's a pro tip for you. Want to find out the API URLs for LinkedIn or any website? 
Just go to LinkedIn, hit F12, or right-click and inspect. Go to the Network tab and refresh the page. You'll see all the network requests. Look for Voyager links. Those are often API calls. You can find headers, URLs, everything you need to reverse engineer APIs. And for cookies, go to the Application tab and you'll find them under Cookies. Grab your session ID and other cookies, paste them into your config file, and you're good to go. Okay, let me refresh my LinkedIn page to show you. Nothing posted yet. Now, let's fire up the terminal and run the main file. It's loading the feeds, sending them to Gemini, generating a post. And there it is. Interesting to see how CNN, blah, blah, blah. The next schedule is set for 4 a.m. Let's jump back to LinkedIn and see if our bot has done its magic. Boom, there it is. Interesting to see. And check it out. Links are included and they're working. So there you have it. Automated LinkedIn posting, completely DIY and free. I hope you found this tutorial super interesting and helpful. I've dropped the GitHub repo link in the description below, so go check it out, fork it, and start automating. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you build your own version. And as always, stay techy, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.